All right, good afternoon, everybody. I hope all y'all are having a pretty good day so far. I just wanted to make a, hopefully it's a quick video about my wheel spacer install on my truck and how that went. So I ran into a couple issues. One of them was kind of my fault. The other one was not my fault at all. So I couldn't complete the job. First thing that I want to say is that I have a 2005 F-150. It's a FX4. It has 20 by 12 fuel hosted wheels on it and like many other wheels they're made to fit two different types of vehicles this wheel could also fit onto a Chevy six lug if you know you had a Chevy truck so right here this is the hub ring for my truck this wheel hub is supposed to fit flush onto this hub ring so that way it's not solely resting onto the lug nuts now when you order these for example these fuel hostage wheels fuel usually sends a rubber hub ring for the Ford owners so if you're gonna put these wheels into a f-150 you would have to put a hub ring on here so that there's no gap in between the wheel and the hub now I bought these wheels used from a guy so I don't have those hub rings now you may be wondering why is that an issue when you were going to install wheel spacers well I have the wheel spacer right here and yes this is the Bora brand which is the best brand of wheel spacers that you could buy the hub ring on the wheel spacer right here is the same size as the hub ring that's right here so when you put these wheels onto the wheel spacer there's a gap right here just like right here and that's dangerous because then the wheel is just resting on the studs of the wheel spacer so here's where it kind of gets interesting for f-150 owners i went online to try to find somewhere that i could order these hub centric rings the first place i went to was custom offsets and that's where i ordered my spacers through. Now, they did have the hub-centric rings, but they only had them for the F-150. There was only one size hub-centric ring, and it was for the F-150. And that seemed interesting to me, because I was like, well, is this only an issue with F-150 owners? Now, I haven't done any more research prior from that point, and it could just be something that is an issue with F-150 trucks, where you get you know, a wheel that's made for the Chevy trucks. I don't know, but I do know that it is a good idea to get these hubs in your rings, especially when you're running a bigger size tire because you want the wheel to be resting on the hub and not just the lug nuts. So, like I said, I got a set of four hub centric rings from Custom Offsets. I think it was $35 for four of them. Yes, they are the rubber type hub centric rings. The metal ones that I found, they were $100 for all four of them and I didn't want to spend that kind of money. All right, so now I just want to quickly talk about the second issue that I ran into earlier. Like I said, I ordered them through customoffsets.com, customwheeloffsets.com. When you order through them, you type in your exact make and model and so I noticed whenever I was trying to install these wheel spacers, I'll, actually, I'll grab it and I'll show y'all. When you get these wheel spacers, they come with an extra set of lug nuts. When I was trying to install these wheel spacers, I noticed that these lug nuts did not fit onto the studs that are on my truck. I was like, well, this is weird. Maybe I'm supposed to use those lug nuts to mount the spacer onto my truck and then use these to mount the wheel to the spacer because these lug nuts fit onto here. But as I was watching other videos, that's not what people were doing. And I was like, well, what the heck? Why don't these work on the lugs of my truck? Tried to call custom offsets. Of course, they didn't answer. I even emailed them. They didn't email me back until way later that night. I emailed them at like 2.30 in the afternoon got an email back at like 9.30. So I just went straight to Bora. I called Bora and the owner of the company answered and that's who I talked to. I talked to the owner of Bora, his name's Lenny, and I told him, I was like, hey Lenny, the lug nuts that came with the 
wheel spacers are not fitting onto the lug nuts of my truck, are not fitting onto the studs of my truck, and the lug nuts that are on my truck right now are not fitting onto the studs of the wheel spacers. Is that how you're supposed to install these wheel spacers? And he's like, yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it. Um, let me look up your order and see if something got messed up. And I told him, well, I actually ordered them for custom offsets. And he's like, that's okay. He looked at my order and he's like, well, here's the problem. When you ordered those spacers, whoever you ordered them through, they put the order in for a 2015 F-150, not 2005. So the studs on these wheel spacers are just a little bit thicker than the studs on here. So none of the lug nuts fit onto the studs. So that was the second issue that I ran into. I got wheel spacers for a 2015 F-150 and not a 2005. Now, of course, the issue of the spacers not being the correct year for my truck are bigger than not having the hub-centric rings. I probably still would not have installed the wheel spacers even if they were for a 2005 F-150 because I did not have the hub-centric rings. Like I said, it's pretty unsafe to not have those rings if the hub of your wheel is bigger than the hub of your truck. So I hope this video helps out fellow truck owners who are either planning on installing hub centric wheel spacers, or I hope this also helps out you know, other truck owners that have a wheel that's made for two different types of trucks and the hub of the wheel is bigger than the hub of your truck. If it is, then you should invest in some hub centric rings that make the wheel rest on the hub of your truck and not just the lug nuts. Now I do want to say one last thing, if you are new to this YouTube channel, welcome. My name is Kelby. This channel is probably going to be focused around a lot of install videos. If you've watched my other videos, you do know that I also own a New Edge Mustang. It's a 2002 Mustang GT. I've done one other install video with that car and I plan on doing other install videos with that car. I am going to try to upload helpful videos like this where if I do run into issues I want to put up videos about those issues so that when y'all go to do the same type of upgrade or mod that you can watch these videos and be like, okay, that's the issue that that guy ran into. Well, now I can just avoid that. Or if you're just, you know, a car guy or a truck guy, this would be a good channel for you too. Now, I do want to say too that this channel is not going to solely be on install videos. I plan on doing other fun stuff with the vehicles that I own. So yeah, hopefully this video helped out other truck owners. I Like I said, I don't know if this is just the F-150 thing or if it applies to other trucks. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you're new and want to see other videos that are like this or other videos of my Mustang, videos of my truck, cool stuff, subscribe and I'll see you guys later.